state house today could technically put Marion County's mask mandate and capacity restrictions in limbo, at least for the next half hour. Yeah, a new law requires elected officials in local governments to approve restrictions imposed by health departments in a public health emergency. Lawmakers pushed that law forward this afternoon, overriding the governor's veto, and that means current restrictions are technically now void. That is why the Indianapolis City County Council will address this in their meeting tonight, coming up in just about a half hour at 7 o'clock. Councilors are expected to officially reinstate the local public health order in our city. Of course, we'll be watching that for you closely. Our Kayla Sullivan actually takes a deeper look at the debate that brought us to this point and what this new law means for you and your family. Sometimes you have to make these decisions within hours. Those against Senate Enrolled Act 5 argue the law will delay important health orders and that could potentially cause an increase in death or sickness during an emergency like the COVID-19 pandemic. It would add an extra layer of bureaucracy. I think uh, for all of us. However, the majority of lawmakers who voted for this veto override say local elected leaders need a guaranteed say in the process and Hoosiers need a way to appeal health orders that impact them. Senate Enrolled Act 5 serves as that critical check and balance and ensures that local government, the government closest to the people, plays a central role in shaping the policies that affect the life of our communities and the livelihood of Hoosiers. UND political science professor Laura Wilson says she isn't surprised by this veto. People in Indiana have been outspoken about the issue. These are conversations people have. Who should have control over mask mandates? Who could, should have control over these decisions? State, local, who in local government? Marion County Health Department Director Dr. Virginia Kane was hoping lawmakers wouldn't have voted against the governor's veto, not just because she thinks it's dangerous, but because she thinks with more time there could be a better law with compromise. I just think it would create a greater opportunity for us to continue to have this dialogue and maybe we can highlight and put into place some things that will make all of us very comfortable about. Kayla Sullivan, Fox 59 News. Kayla, thanks. Dr. Kane says there is room for more transparency and communication during these emergencies, but she says she doesn't think this law was the answer. Governor Holcomb also disagreeing with the action of lawmakers today in a statement. He praised the heroic response by our health leaders. It says they were able to get us through this pandemic through speed, collaboration, and medical expertise. He says that in most counties, the elected leaders and health departments worked very well together. Senate President Pro Tem Rod Bray responding, saying he expects local leaders to continue listening to health officials, but says he wants the elected officials to have the final say. Of course, we'll have much more on this tonight at 10, the reaction from council on the actions they have to take tonight. And then Sunday morning on this week's edition of In Focus, we'll talk about this issue and everything happening in the world of Indiana politics right here on Fox 59.